Levesque, Haiti is a place unlike any other on earth. This sprawling community in the mountains of Haiti was established after the earthquake of 2010. It is a purposeful mix of hearing impaired and people with fully functioning hearing. The children at the School of Hope Levesque greet us with a kind of unabashed love that instantly melts your heart. Bon. Team Hear Care turns the church on the property into a hearing clinic, testing, fitting, and helping dozens of kids. Nora Stewart of Hear Care displays her ability to draw out the classic hearing smile. Hi. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> gonna help him unleash his potential. Huh? Oh, I know. <laughs> One of the audiologists on our trip, Kamal Elliott, reflects on the meaning while the work goes on. You know, it's just incredible. We drove down this uh, bumpy road and up a little mountain and here we are in the middle of this beautiful place and there are all these wonderful kids and many of them have hearing loss and they badly need our services but they don't have access so it feels amazing to be here. The kids here are joyful and warm, and some of their stories are incredible, but perhaps none more so than this boy's. His name is Wiltor. Mary Davenport tells us about his unique story. Wiltor's parents, um, what they said is they hate him, and they abuse him, and um, they overwork him, and this kind of stuff. So I just, it kind of broke my heart, and I was like, why? And um, we later found out that this boy had sort of been adopted by an entirely deaf family, two parents deaf, all six children deaf. We were just so inspired by this family that took him in, and so glad that we could step in and not only help him, but help this family who was helping him. Through today's work, Wiltor's life is changing, and so are the lives of others. We are going to make sure that Wiltor's hearing devices are working as well as they possibly can. So this guy who has severe to profound hearing loss is able to hear his teachers so he can become an educated young man. Not only is it giving them the opportunity to learn language and get an education, but it's allowing them to experience the life-changing reality of Jesus Christ in their, in their own lives. Um, to be able to communicate with other people, other believers, um, be inspired by what they're learning and make a difference in their community. In Levesque, Haiti, with people from Fort Wayne changing the world, Curtis Smith, 21 Alive.